set me up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, one second. Well, come on! All right, all right, let's not get into panic mode! Let's not make a big deal out of this thing, and we're never gonna get through this night. Well, I'm meeting your in-laws. I think I should look nice. My in-laws? Oh, my God. So, what do you think? Your old man can look pretty good when he wants to, huh? I don't like that tie. What's the matter with this tie? I've hardly worn it. It's too thin. They're wearing wide now. How do you know what kind of ties they wear? Go to any office building on 7th Avenue and tell me if there's anyone there wearing a thin tie like that. Go ahead. Oh, get the hell out of here. 7th Avenue. Do you think he should wear a tie like that? Huh? I think he should wear whatever tie he wants. We got to stop off and pick up a marble rye from Schnitzer's. It's out of our way. Why can't we pick up something at Lord's? It's right over here. No, we have to go to Schnitzer's. I'll show these people something about taste. <laughs> this is going to be fun. This was delicious, Mrs. Ross. Oh. What are you complimenting her for? She didn't make it. Rowena did. <laughs> what is this thing, anyway? It's Cornish game hen. What is that, like a little chicken? <laughs> oh, it's, uh, it's not a little chicken. <laughs> a little chicken. <laughs> no, it's, a, it's a game bird. Yeah. Game bird? Yeah. What do you mean, like you, you hunt it? Yes. <laughs> How hard can it be to kill this thing? I couldn't help but notice that you have quite a library in there. If I had a dime for every book he's actually read, <laughs> I'd be broke. <laughs> More wine, anyone? Yeah, I'll take it. Thank you. How do you like the Merlot? Merlot, I never heard of it. Did they just invent it? Oh, brother. She's, uh, she's heard of the Merlot. <clears throat> Let me understand. You got the hen, the chicken, and the rooster. The rooster goes with the chicken. So who's having sex with the hen? <laughs> About it another time. But you see my point here? You only hear of a hen, a rooster, and a chicken. Something's missing. Something's missing, all right. <laughs> They're all chickens. The rooster has sex with all of them. That's perverse. So has anybody seen Firestorm? Firestorm, that's a hell of a picture. Yeah. Remember when they had the helicopter land on top of that car? Hey, 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 come on, come on. I haven't seen it yet. It doesn't have anything to do with the plot. Still, still, I like to go in fresh. Oh, mother of God. Thank God that's so. The mother seems to hit the sauce pretty hard. I didn't like that. And who doesn't serve cake after a meal? What kind of people would kill them to put out a pound cake? Something. <laughs> so they didn't give you a piece of cake. Big deal. It is a big deal. You're supposed to serve cake after a meal. I'm sorry. It's impolite. Not impolite. It's stupid. That's what it is. You gotta be stupid to do something like that. Your father is absolutely right. We're sitting there like idiots drinking coffee without a piece of cake. <laughs> what is this? The marble rye? Oh, dear, I forgot to put out that, that bread they brought. We forgot to bring it in. No, I brought it in. They never put it out. Where is it? I don't know. Where'd you put it? Right over there. Well, it's gone. You stole the bread? What do you mean stole? It's my bread. They didn't eat it. Why should I leave it there? Because we brought it for them. <laughs> Apparently, it wasn't good enough for them to surf. Is it possible they took it back? Who would bring a bread and take it back? Those people, that's who. I think they're sick. People take buses to get that rye. Maybe they forgot to put it out. Oh, they didn't forget to put it out. It's deliberate. Deliberate, I tell you! 